Hey guys, you remember like three years ago when we built that amazing project for Shaquille O'Neal and how much fun we had? Fun's kind of a weird way to describe it. You remember how much rain we had? It rained and it rained and then it rained and then it rained and it rained and rained. Well, this year we've been invited to come back and so we're sending Jack Pazinski down to Atlanta. I would love to go, but we have so much stuff going on here at local market. I've got to stay home. And I'm so excited about the opportunity of sending a young Jack Pazinski and the things he's gonna learn. You guys. Stay tuned because this is going to be an awesome episode. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The best way to learn anything is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. It's Jack with Team Aquascape. I don't know if you guys can guess where I'm at, but I'm at Shaq's. So the project behind me was done three years ago during COVID. If you guys haven't checked those videos out, please go check those videos because I know I watched them and they were incredible to watch. I heard amazing stories about this project and how it rained the entire time they were down here. And this project looks incredible for the first time for me to see it in person with my own eyes. Just looks absolutely incredible. But I'm not here for this project and to hang out with Shaq. I'm here for that other project just on the other side of this. This is why I'm here guys. This thing is absolutely incredible. This pond is way bigger than the one that I just showed you guys up top. Ed, the pond professor, and Chris Hansen from Aquascape, as you guys all know, we're out here. They were doing a bunch of the prep work and getting it to the stage of where you guys see it right now. Today, we're just out here kind of looking at everything, but tomorrow is when we start, where we have 20 plus of our best contractors from all across the world. We have guys from Australia, and we have guys from Canada, and especially guys from the US that are in here, in Georgia, right now, about to tackle this project that we're gonna get done in the next five days. Even though I've been around Aquascape for a couple years now. I'm still the newest guy on the block here, so wish me luck, everyone. The next five days are gonna be action-packed with everything that's gonna be going on with this feature. So I'm gonna kill him, or <laughs> like, or if I just laugh. I mean, he's gotta be messing with me. He has to be messing with me. I gave Jack one simple, simple instruction. Do not get in the machine. Make me proud. I don't want you in the machine because you're not learning anything in the machine. I want you on the ground, grabbing boulders, rubbing elbows with some of the best. And if you're running machines, you're not learning from anybody. I know you know how to operate. Get out of the machine. Like, what is you <laughs> Right, guys as you guys can see we are well into day one this morning we started off Ed introduced us to what we were doing out here and kind of get a lay of the land first off was try to get that wetland brought up to grade so we could start sent rock we're almost done with that but that allowed a few of us to jump over to the intake bay that's the section that we're working on right now and as you guys can see we're back filling all those aqua blocks with that large gravel so when we can start sent rock too we're trying to lay the base work down so then for the rest of the day we can kind of finish these two areas and get that area done and then we can start working on the rest of the pond we've been busting our butt I know I have and literally the second I jumped on a piece of equipment just to move one bucket of stone, Greg caught me and sent a picture to Brian. So I looks like I'm gonna be in trouble when I get back from this trip. How awesome is this? We gotta set the first rock on King Water Gardens. <laughs> We are about 98% done with the intake bay. That was kind of the thing that I was focusing on today. We have two things left. We have one, that rock behind me, they're strapping up. We have to pull that rock out. I unfortunately screwed up. So you guys can, I can hear it in the comments about how I screwed this one up, but one of the rocks is kind of pushing the aqua blocks more than we like to. So we're just gonna move that rock away from that and we're gonna lay it on a bed of gravel. The other thing we have left to do is just to coat it with gravel and then we are done with the intake bay. The only thing that's left to do is pretty much the plumbing, which is gonna be done on a later date, not today. Going forward, we're just gonna finish rocking on the other side of the pond. Now we're in 
inside the pond itself. And then we're gonna come through and we're gonna start setting this peninsula here. So Ralph is on the other side. They've been working from the wetland and working their way towards me. And then now I'm gonna be working from the intake bay, working my way in towards the middle. And then we're gonna kind of meet in the middle and we're gonna go from there. And that way we're gonna have that side completely done. So the sun's out. It's getting quite toasty down here, down in Atlanta. So let's get back to work. What we got done yesterday was obviously a lot of work. I know Ed and I were talking, we were probably just over 100 tons with gravel that we set of stone. So it's 200,000 pounds for everyone that wants to know on those numbers. We got the intake bay done, we got the wetland done, that part of the peninsula is done. And the reason for we kept some of it open was because we always work from the way the bottom up. And that is because we don't want that liner getting nice hot and causing issues later down the road. So we left that side open for then today, we could drain all this water down, get that base layer done at the bottom of the pond and then finish that peninsula. And then it continues continuing our way from the far side where Ed and Patrick are sitting right now and then working our way out this way. And then the other crew, which Sean is a part of right now, he's gonna be working from the well and working his way back towards us and kind of meet in the middle and so we can hopefully get this pond rocked in today. Well, start of day three is humbling to see all these guys that have volunteered their time to come here. They're the best in the world and it shows. We have moved over 600,000 pounds of material from point A to point B. We are starting day three. Day four is gonna be the final push and then day five, we're gonna be running on fumes, but it's gonna be all of the finishing touches. My total A team that we have working the chat. It is start of day four. The waterfalls are 90% done. We have just a small amount of rock work to do up on our top pooling area, and that's to allow all the four three-inch plumbing lines that are gonna be discharging up into this waterfall that are gonna be powering this waterfall here. So it's just details in that waterfall right now. And then the guys over here, if you wanna pan around this way, we have our trench right now. You can see Jason. Jason right now is gluing all our couplings to our three-inch lines, and we're running those three-inch lines all the way to where the machine's at right now. You can see that water truck just showed up. We got our plants just in time in that wetland for this water truck to arrive so that way we can start filling this thing up to its final level. We probably roughly have around four to five inches left and then that's, this is our final level for the pond. So we have edges left to do and we have a pathway to connect from the existing pathway all the way up to where our putting green's gonna be at. That's where we're gonna deadhead our pathway and then we're gonna put on our giant chair that Shaquille O'Neal has that's sitting off to the side. So it's gonna sit over there and then after that, details, details, yeah. details. We just got a little bit more left to do and then we are ready for the big man to come this weekend.
as you guys can see, we have this giant generator behind us, and that's because the electrician is not out here yet, and we kept blowing breakers for the extension cords that we had out here. So in order to run our waterfalls, or at least get them somewhat started, we packed our generator down here, and we're gonna get this thing plugged up, and we're gonna start some of these pumps. We are finally wrapped up. We are back out here a week after since we've been here. Water quality is a little bad right now, but that is because it has not stopped raining for the last week since we've left. But everything else got done. The putting green got installed. That got finished up yesterday. All the grading got finished. The hydro seating was finished. Everything is done. And I'm sure Shaq is gonna love this. This experience was absolutely amazing. Putting roughly around a million plus pounds of material in the ground in just four and a half days was just absolutely astonishing. Crazy to think that we did that in such a short amount of time. I had an absolute blast working with the team that we had out here. The team just worked lawless. We hit the ground running Monday and it was just smooth sailing after that, which thank God, because look at how big of this feature it was. This project was a huge confidence booster and I'm really looking forward to this season going forward, considering this is the beginning of the season and I'm looking forward to where I'm gonna be at at the end of the season and going forth with Aquascape. So at this point, we have one thing left and that is for Shaq to see this feature. I know he's gonna like it, considering that he liked the feature that we put in three years ago. I know personally I'm looking forward to even meeting him too because heck, we're at Shaquille O'Neal's house. the first time I've been up here and look at the size of this door. This makes me look this big. Cannot wait for Shaq to see the view from here because this is the first time that I really looked at the waterfalls looking back from his doorstep and they look incredible. All right, Shaquille O'Neal, Diesel been himself. Second project. Crazy. Crazy for the past few weeks. <laughs> I think that's good. I, think, I, I hope don't, that. I, I hope don't know. He looks a little shell shocked right now. <laughs> I was on vacation and Derek told me he said it's an emergency. Well, it's your new Aquascape Ecosystem Recreation Pond. We fixed the problem, put a liner in, and a million pounds of rock moved in five days. It's a great surprise. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, man. You know, they kept calling me like, we need you to come on. I was like, I can't. I got important meetings. Like, we need you to come on. So, this is great. Oh, come on. Let's show it to you. <laughs> Good, buddy. Give me a hug, man. Yeah. It looks like you lost some weight there, Diesel. Yeah, I've been working out. Good for awesome. you. So, we had... Hold on. You, did, you, did you move the whole time? We completely removed it because it was full of muck and mud. It was over there, right? It, no, it was down in here. Okay. We just it reshaped everything. Though. Reshaped it. We reshaped everything because we wanted to give this thing some twists and turns and curves. Plus, even though the water's dirty right now, we have a massive filter system in here. It'll look like that other one in a this week or awesome two. Right yeah, so this is all the new grass. See, that just got planted yesterday. Days for this to, to grow. This took us 10 days. Kenny gave us a tight window when you were not home. We came in with this army of people yeah. <laughs> to oh, make oh, it people. all happen. <laughs> Come on up over this way to the patio. We got seating areas, we got waterfalls. We got a waterfall up here. I got a question. Yeah. We'll get some koi fish in here. We're gonna get a special koi fish, and then we got Buster Posey's, you know, the catcher for the yes. Giants. We got yes. his koi fish that we're gonna put in here too. It's a little dirty from all the rain, but once it clears up, you're gonna be able to see crystal clear water. We had 30 certified Aquascape <laughs> contractors. The pond guy is a bad mother. <laughs> Is that a beach? That's a beach. With gators? With your gators on there, pal. Those real gators? You in. <laughs> no, those are real oh, gators. Oh, man, I'm about to say, huh? <laughs> this, this was worth the trip to come home for. Hey, yeah, I think that's the here. ultimate compliment. Hey, did you guys hear it? Shaquille O'Neal said, this was worth the trip to come home for from the Hamas. How about a hand for Shaquille O'Neal, everybody? <laughs> that's my Hollywood way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh,
put the fish in this pond? I don't think we should put them in this week, maybe next week or the week after when the water clears up. Okay, yeah, because it's dirty. Oh, we, oh, we like to show them to you. Okay, good, yeah. good. No problem, yeah. We have something all the way from Japan for you. Okay. From Fitz's Fish Ponds. Shikoi O'Neill. Yes. <laughs> all the way from Nagata, Japan. Yes. We have a 39 inch Yamabuki, which is the largest koi that I have personally ever seen. That's going to eventually go down in that pond when it's clear, but we wanted sure. to show it to you for this one. So let's check this out. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna name this fish Charles Barkley. <laughs> no, 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 no. Shikoi O'Neill. I'm not that big. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's a Yamabuki from Fitz's Fish Ponds and Tim Waddington from uh, KoiTrips.com. Thank you, KoiTrips.com. Appreciate you. Guys, I want to thank you. Thank you. Greg. <laughs> you know, I like to thank all of our certified Aquascape contractors. Appreciate it. Pete did my tree house and that was the best gift I ever had. Because I'm, I'm usually a guy I don't usually receive gifts. I like taking care of people. But you blessed me with the first pond and then Pete came and blessed me with the tree house. But I think this surpasses Pete. So thank I want to say thank you. All right, brother. And thank your team very much. Pleasure. That's big and in my book, but you know. Got me for life now. This is this is awesome. You wow. brought me a koi fish from Japan. <laughs> we got this shirt for you. Five XL, but you lost so much weight you might be a four. I don't know. No, a two. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you guys. I love my job. Thank the pond professor and the pond guy. They brought me off vacation from the Bahamas. They told me I had an emergency at the house. I was very upset when I got here and saw the new remake of the pond. I want to say thank you. I would kiss you, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Jump up and down. Jump up and down. <laughs> I love my job. How about Shaquille O'Neal's reaction? I mean, that's priceless and that's why we do this. I knew he was gonna feel so appreciative of what that team did and they killed it. I mean, we built an epic project three years ago and this one's even more epic. I can't wait till he calls us again and has us do another one. Building ponds for great people like that is what we love doing and he's no different than our local customers and everybody else. They always feel so much gratitude when we come out and we finish a project. So if you guys liked that episode, you enjoyed what Jack did. Jack's back in the crew with us next week. We're building some amazing projects. You guys make sure you tune in next week where we'll have even more fun stuff to do. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, tell me your favorite parts, and we'll see you next week. Bye.